I had nothing like good old downtown. I don't know about you, Odessa, but back in my day, this place was the goddamn tits. You'd have cycles running around, breaking windows, and of course, don't forget the griefers. Ah, and of course, can't forget the jail. So many good memories of trying to bust my friends out of jail while also, well, ending up in jail. And of course, who could forget the good old sewers? Whoa, whoa, hey. Whoa, hey, Odessa, stop kicking me. Whoa, whoa, Odessa, chill. Doesn't it just reek of nostalgia? Yeah, man, those were the days. But unfortunately, those times are gone. Well, now that we got the sad story out of the way, any chance you can help me open up this door? Is exactly what we would say if we didn't have a mod to help us do that anyway. So we're going to use a mod instead. Welcome back guys to another mini mod showcase. I'm going to be doing the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance NPC pack very soon, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's go ahead and try to open this door. But when you open this door, you're going to notice a few things that are different. One, well, what the heck are these icons? Well, we're going to start with the first thing, and that is of course, this. Pressing this hand right here. Well, that actually won't work because, well, the door's locked. So let's go to a door that is not locked. See this hand? If you press this hand, you can lightly open the door and peek. You don't even have to open the whole thing. It's pretty cool to treat a Half-Life 2 door like this because we're so used to it just kind of being automatic, you know? You click E, it opens, it closes, but now, we can like lightly open it up and just move it with our own physics. Something about that is just really interesting. And then once it's fully opened, you can simply close it again by pressing that icon. You'll also notice that now every door has a smooth animation. It also still does this. <laughs> oh, Half-Life 2 never changed. So we're gonna go to a single door here because this is gonna give us better results. Look at that nice, buttery smooth animation. That is just one of the many features in this mod. But again, we can close this and we'll get a better look at what the slow opening looks like. So there we did it. All right, so we're on the other side here. We've now clicked the opening and look at that. So we can kind of just peek through. And then if we don't like it, we can obviously just close the door right back up. You'll notice though, by the way, that if you try to do the peeking move on the other side, it's not gonna work because the door only opens one way. But of course, if you don't wanna mess with that, you can simply just open it like a normal guy. But maybe the door's locked, in which case we're going to come back here. By the way, remember that whole video I did on liminal spaces? Yeah, this is just... Like, if we just stay quiet for a second. It's weird. Especially when you're used to this map being so full of chaos. Everyone would always raid this building for some reason. Anyway, there's a problem. We can't open this door. The reason why we can't open this door is because it is locked. As you can see, we're trying to open it, but every time we do that, the lock symbol goes red. Thankfully, this mod has a built-in lock picking mechanism. Hold E. And boom, she is unlocked. Now that's all cool and everything, but maybe you don't want to unlock it. This is also a locked door. What you can also do is kick the door open. Now, unfortunately, there's not any animations for that, but the sound effects kind of take it away. So that's all the basic functions, but there's even more if you go into the options here. So we're going to go ahead and load up the options, and then you can go ahead and click on client, and you can see draw icons. So if you don't want the icons there, which you definitely do want them because how do you know what you're doing? We can even adjust the peaking mechanism. So we're going to go ahead and actually just close this, and we'll see how this looks now. All right. That is just, that's so neat, how it just lightly opens up like that. So of course, just to show you guys what the peeking looks like, you can see you can just very slowly walk forward, take a look out, you don't like what you see, you can simply open and close it. It could be a little tricky because you do have to aim right over the icon. Doing that from the camera is a, uh... oh, there we go, hey, nice. All right, now just for shits and giggles, let's see what the kicking animation looks like. Okay, that's pretty cool. So there is an option to enable peek in both directions, which I'm pretty sure means that you can open the door from either side. So here's the peek. You can see it works from this side. But if we go ahead and close the door, and then we try to do the peeking from this side, it also works. So you know what? I dig that. And then there's a bunch of options here about destroying the doors, which, wait. 
You can destroy doors. Also, by the way, check this out. You can close every single door. That is really cool and kind of creepy. Well, let's go ahead and show off exactly what we mean by destroying doors. So you can set the damage. All of it's right here. I'm not going to go over that in today's video. Just take a good look at this. It's pretty self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and bust this open. So not only can we bust down and, well, completely destroy metal, but we can even give wooden doors. For instance, we're going to go ahead and just heal this back up. All right, let's see what it looks like from the other side. Ow. Once again with feeling. And there we have it. So you can just completely destroy doors, which looks really awesome, by the way. We can also obviously do it onto metal doors, although there's no gibbs. And we, oh god, we're gonna die. Come on, just, just, just bust, bust down. Oh, come on, you can't, aha, haha, it wasn't even that hard. And we can see the door is actually right here, so it completely just sends it flying, and then it slowly and eerily disappears for some reason. So if you guys want to enhance your RP door openingness, this is the mod for you. As always though, leave a like and subscribe, and comment down below. Check out my Discord down in the description, as well as my Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. All that is Necro's videos, by the way. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and farewell.